Hello friends, in this video, we will see some more complex problems related to the profit and loss. So let us assume a retailer marks all his goods at 50% above the cost price. Okay, a retailer marked 50% above the 50% above the cost price of all his goods. Okay, and then he given 25 percentage discount. He given 25 percentage discount on all his goods and all his goods. So what is his actual profit percentage? So what is his actual profit percentage? Okay. So what happened here? Dealer marks all his goods 50 percentage above the cost price, okay, and then he gives 25 percentage discount on the all the goods. So, what is his actual profit? So, initially, each good have cost price, right? So, on that cost price, he given, I mean, he marked 50 percentage increment, and after that, he is giving 25 percentage discount that means after that 25 percentage decrement is there okay initially cost price is there on that he increased 50 percentage after that he is providing 25 percentage discount so in the percentage uh, problems i told whenever there is a variable is there and then we are applying a percentage and b percentage successively on that variable value so then the overall percentage change, then the overall percentage change in the x is given by a plus b plus ab by 100, ab by 100, okay. So whenever there is a value is there, on that value we are applying a percentage and b percentage successively, then the overall percentage change in the x is given by a plus b plus ab by 100. So in the same manner, here our cost price is x and 50 is the A and B is the 25 but actually A is equal to plus 50 why because he is increasing he is increasing 50 percentage and B is equal to minus 25 why minus because he is giving, providing discount so that means reducing the reducing is denoted by minus 25 we substitute these two values here okay we substitute these two values here A is equal to 50 and b is equal to minus 25 plus 50 into minus 25 by 100 so that is 50 to ja, okay so 50 minus uh, 25 is going to be 25 minus 25 by 2 so that is going to be 12.5 is equivalent to 12.5 percentage so this is the plus so that means there is a gain is there so the what is his actual profit is or gain percentage the actual profit or gain percentage is 12.5 okay so the actual gain percentage is 12.5 so let us see another example a seller marked all his goods 20 percentage above the cost price 20 percentage above the cost price and after that he provided 25 percentage discount 25 percentage discount find his find his last percentage we have to find his last percentage okay so let us assume there is a initial cost price is there on that actually he increased 20 percentage of all his goods okay 20 is increased after that he is providing 25 percentage discount okay so that means a is equal to plus 20 and b is equal to minus 25 okay so on this he incremented 20% and then decremented 25% so then the overall percentage change in the cost price is given by a plus b plus a b by 100 so a is plus 20 a b is minus 25 plus so 20 into minus 25 by so 100 so 20 into 5 and 5 5 are so that is minus 5 so minus 5 minus 25 minus 30 so that is going to be 20 minus 30 is equal to minus 10 so this negative sign denotes there is a loss is there 
and this is the last percentage so there is a overall loss of 10 percentage if he you know marks all his goods 20 percentage above the cost price and like and provide 25 percent discount then the resultant is 10 percentage loss is there okay so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel